Prince Harry has been blasted online for becoming increasingly delusional after the 38-year-old trashed his family in new trailers for interviews with CBS's 60 Minutes host Anderson Cooper and ITV's Tom Bradby. The hashtag ShutUpHarry is trending on Twitter after the trailer was released. Both interviews are scheduled to air on Sunday, January the 8th, ahead of the Duke of Sussex's much-anticipated memoir Spare, which will be released on January the 10th. In a preview for the sure-to-be-shocking TV special, Cooper asks if it's true whether or not the Duke of Sussex tried to depart the monarchy in a private matter to avoid more drama. Harry confirms that he tried to keep everything out of the press, but in doing so, the firm would spin headlines to paint him and Meghan Markle in a negative light. Every single time I've tried to do it privately, there have been briefings and leakings and planting of stories against me and my wife. You know, the family motto is never complain, never explain, but it's just a motto, said the newly minted author. They'll feed or have a conversation with the correspondent, and that correspondent will literally be spoon-fed information and write the story. And at the bottom of it, they'll say that they've reached out to Buckingham Palace for comment. But the whole story is Buckingham Palace commenting, he spilled. So when we've been told for the last six years we can't put a statement out to protect you, but you do it for other members of the family, it becomes... There becomes a point when silence is betrayal. A body language expert has suggested Harry wants to look superior and play the victim in an interview on his tell-all book. Judy James said, This might be a short trailer, but it does the trick in terms of teasing the drama by using three sets of body language cues and techniques. The authoritative prince... Is seen walking with a solid chest splay signalling confidence using the political leadership trick of one-handed gesticulation as he talks. This makes him look superior and in charge while the host listens. The guru, Harry, is sitting down using his favourite pompous overkill gesticulations to look as though his words are terribly important. He mimes a huge circle in the air to ensure his message is listened to and understood. The bean-spilling victim Lastly, we see Harry with a lower status victim look, wide-eyed and with his brows raised as he holds alternative hands out in the air, palm up, to suggest openness and explanation. Where's Meghan? The upcoming Anderson Cooper interview is the first publicity we've seen from either one since their documentary dropped. Meghan is regrouping and plotting a next move after the negative reaction to the Netflix show. It's reported that Meghan Markle could be following in her husband Prince Harry's footsteps, as she's said to be contemplating getting entirely candid about her time in the royal limelight, and leaving no stone unturned. Harry's memoir spares to be released later this month, and according to a Hollywood agent, they'd find it surprising if Meghan didn't publish her own story, to be honest, they told the Daily Mail. The agent added, Spare is clearly Prince Harry's chance to tell his, but hers is equally compelling. I mean, how many actresses end up marrying a prince? The agent suggested that Meghan's potential memoir could jumpstart her political career, saying that if she's harbouring political ambitions, it would make even more sense. The mystery surrounding the book will continue until the release, as a source told The Times. Generally, I think the book will be worse for them than the royal family is expecting. Everything is laid bare. Charles comes out of it better than it was expected, but it's tough on William in particular, and even Kate gets a bit of a broadside. There are these minute details and a description of the fight between the brothers, I personally can't see how Harry and William will be able to reconcile after this.